Oh. Yeah, got something on here. I tell you. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. here in a bay near Palm Island you can see how endless or seemingly endless all the little bays and nooks and crannies it's just a fantastic spot for fishing exploring lots of uh, Aboriginal rock art around and another thing we didn't have to deal with was the crowds have a look at the amount of area we've got to be anchored in here is just no one for miles and miles and miles. Kimberleys. Just throw after throw. Oh, beautiful bloody mangrove jack, that fella. It's got a stripy snapper as well. fishing in the Kimberleys. It's the crocodile. He loves my lure. I don't think I like him that close. It's the crocodile. It's all.
hide the dinghy on the left hand side and walk up to a flat area and then we'll see the uh, under and overhang about knee height. So I think we've gone about 300 metres and they say to tie up at a rock but obviously you've got to be careful because the tide is coming in so you need to tie up high enough and in a place where the dinghy is not going to Yes, these islands are famous for the Livestonia Palm. Apparently there's hundreds of them on Palm Island, so forth. Cool. So we've come up the creek, tied the boat up, and to fight off the crocodile, here he comes again. You need know, to be loose because when the tide comes in you don't want the edge of your dinghy to get caught under that rock shelf. Now we've got to wander up here. I'm trying to find the art. I said to scramble up this flattish surface. Now there's some art here somewhere. Margie, you found it. Found it. First Aboriginal art. You Coastal found human. it. <laughs> There's a mission. We're up here, incoming tide, thankfully. Sunny hooked up, fighting off the crocs again, and somewhere. We're about to give up, weren't we? Yeah. We and said we it couldn't possibly be here because of it washed away. Yes, yeah, so thank you, Heather and Mark. And there it is. Four men in a canoe. You know it's good art when you go. I think that's one. Okay, so I think we better get back. Can you better rest?
both of them. No problem. With lots of help from the sailing guides and our friends. Oh, the rocks. They help. Yeah. Thanks, Mark and Heather. So, we finally found the big kangaroo behind another rock. The only bit of Kimberley art that you can see from the dinghy. Yay. Drink it here. That is a steep beach. Must be iron ore. It's all floating and rusting. Quite weird. Anchored the dinghy out. You know, you said the tide is still going out. Well, I hope she's right. If I come back, and I know who will be swimming for it. Part of the adventure of looking for the Aboriginal art sites is that there's absolutely no signs, there's no tracks, there's no sign, uh, there's no very little information. Um, he talked to other cruisers, and the two touring guide has a bit of information. But pretty much, you're on your own, and you've just got to look around. You get the hang of where things could possibly be after a while but it does make it quite the adventure.
not a bad art studio. Whilst we were looking and exploring all these art sites, it really does take you back to the dream time or what you imagine as the dream time and early civilizations. It's such a privilege to be able to uh, walk in and explore these art sites and um, you feel yourself going back into in time and just imagining how they had lived in, in these arid areas and the way they went about their daily life. Incredible. here on the hunt for another art type. Nice little spot. No crops I hope. This way. Oh, that's a big one, you know. I am Australian and proud of it, but I really have to say, if you ever get the chance to explore around the Kimberley, like we have here, you've really got to do it. There's just something so special about this whole area.
lot more down here. almost as though this image has the same thought reaction that I had to Margie laying down into the black ash. Tina, yeah, this, um, oh, there's a real thing here. Oh, for grinding up seeds or something. Paint. Paint. Oh, you're so sweet. You're a bit tired, George. Mm. No, as I told you, there's nothing I won't do for my art. Right. You can run on, there's a big wangina and it's got little wangina around, around the top of the right on.
Or the good art studio. We had a 20 minute dinghy ride across from our boat to this art site um, and it was blowing about 25 knots and we had a good meter of wind and tide chop and it was then we really did realize it's great to have a decent sized dinghy. I think it was about seven nautical miles across we couldn't anchor our boat any closer to this spot um, but wow it was it was quite the adventure again Even before we bought Sunrise, one of my biggest dreams was to cruise through the Kimberleys. And now we've done it. Thanks so much for coming with me, gorgeous, and jumping out of your comfort zone. This really has been an amazing trip, and we've ended up circumnavigating Australia. Who else can say that? <laughs>